Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm getting excited. and getting ready to go to Chantilly, Virginia for the autograph signing show. We'll see Michael Irvin there, um, as well as Charles Haley, and get some more plaques signed for you guys. So, um interesting thing you know it's it's crazy because there is not a player talked about more than Dak Prescott maybe in the history of football I, I if there's somebody who's talked about more than Dak Prescott I don't know who it is I honestly and truly do not know who it is it is insane the amount of coverage they have on one guy David Hausman, who seemed to be the Dallas Cowboys defender on speak and things and all that, and maybe he's been speakized where he's got to change his narrative or he's just trying to get more publicity right now because uh, it's the dead time. And, you know, the thing that you will always get at this time of year is a reaction when you talk about Dak Prescott. So David Hausman said he would love for this to be Dak Prescott's last year in Dallas. Wow. Let's listen to a clip from this, and it's kind of crazy. Be Dak's last year in Dallas. This should be. For Dak Prescott's sake. For Dak Prescott, I am ready to see this experiment end. I'm ready to experiment. see Experiment. I would love for this to be Dak's last year in Dallas, and he can go somewhere that, A, doesn't make him fight so hard for his money every single time he's up for a contract, B, wouldn't it be fun to finally get an answer to all of these questions? Who's to see is who's really at fault, Dak Prescott or the Dallas Cowboys? See, maybe my guy would earn a little bit more appreciation because you cannot tell me a guy with Dak's resume would catch half the hate if he played for any other team in the NFL. If Dak Prescott wow. was out here with the L.A. Rams, or I, I think Matthew Stafford is a hell of a – not, I'm not talking about their accomplishments, but just in terms of how they're perceived. Matthew Stafford, lacking success in Detroit, did not catch a lot of flack for it because he played for the Detroit Lions. Mm -hmm. Comes out to L.A. for a well-run organization in the L.A. Rams, wins a Super Bowl. I could see Dak Prescott, A, catching a hell of a lot less heat, mm. and B, seeing a lot more team success if he went somewhere else. And for that reason, I think it should be Dak's last year in Dallas. I think let's, let's see... Maybe both sides can wow. benefit from a break. We know we talked about it earlier this week. Dallas has got to pay CD. They got to pay Micah Parsons. To their credit, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to do that without a big quarter, quarterback contract on the books. And we'll see how 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 well the Cowboys can replicate this success. They fell backward into Dak Prescott at the end of the Tony Romo era. They found Tony Romo as an undrafted free agent. Could they do it again? I would love to find out. I'd love to mm. see Dak go where he's appreciated, mm. and I'd love to see if the Cowboys can keep up this run of stumbling into good quarterbacks. I think it would be great. This great run. Hmm. He's got a point there. You know, they, they, they did find Dak Prescott right after Tony Romo because it's literally that easy to find a franchise quarterback. But I will say, hmm. Troy Aikman, after Troy was gone, Troy Aikman, veteran Randall Cunningham, who went one and two, Anthony Wright, zero oh and two, that was 2000. 2001, Quincy Carter, 3-5. and five. Anthony Wright, 1-2. and two. Ryan Leaf, 0-1. Oh Clint Stoner, 1-1. One one. 2002, Chad Hutchinson, 2-7. and seven. Quincy Carter, 3-4. and four. 2003, with Bill Parcells. Quincy Carter, 10-6. 2004, Vinny Testaverde. 5 and 10, Drew Henson 1 and 0. 2005, Drew Bledsoe 9 and 7. And then finally, the Cowboys got Tony Romo 6 and 4, 3 and 3 with Drew Bledsoe. Hmm. 
Kind of interesting there. List of quarterbacks that the Cowboys went through because, you know, let's just do the experiment over. Because we found Tony Romo undrafted. We found Dak Prescott in the fourth round. And they can do that again. That's easy. That's no problem. We got this. You know, it is... I am. Um, my man Dak Attack, you know, he went off on David Hausman and, you know, kind of like, you know, you sell out this, that, and the other. Um, in some regard, I, I, I'm i going to take a little bit of the other side of part of it, okay? You know, if you think that the Cowboys are just great at getting quarterbacks, I will say that some of the people that they've looked at wanting to get from Johnny Manziel, you know, how good that would have been. Connor Cook, Paxton Lynch. Hmm. Those are some of the people that they wanted instead of Dak Prescott. And actually, I think Jerry actually talked about looking at Jalen Hurts at one point. And at the moment, I know he went to the Super Bowl and everybody's going to say it was because of Jalen Hurts. But I'm going to say it was one hell of a team. Um. You know, you don't miss the water until the well runs dry. And it was kind of cool watching Kavanaugh and Brian Brodus, um, with Brian Brodus being the one that remembers what it was like. See, I, I wish social media was like it is now back then. So you could literally see some of the quarterbacks and how pathetic they played as Dallas Cowboys quarterbacks. It was unreal. If you like what the commanders have been doing for about the last 15 plus years at quarterback, that's what we could be headed for without Dak Prescott. And I'm going to be the one that says, and I know people won't believe me, But just like Tony Romo, another unappreciated quarterback for the Cowboys, elevated the team to be relevant, that they wouldn't be relevant without either of those guys. But hey, I'm just a Dak Prescott fan, just a Dak lover, and as people tell me, I'm not a Cowboy fan. Not a Cowboy fan! You're just a Dak Prescott fan. Okay. You can believe what you want to believe because we are the last I checked. A free country to do that. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Get ready to get Michael Anthony Fitness Reaction Gig Economy and head to Chantilly for the autograph signing show. So we'll see you there. Peace out.